What's good, everybody? It's another late recording evening for your girl Annabeth from Blastburn Radio, and she is here. Me. That's me. Here. To do Grant. Finally. It's been the longest fucking week, y'all. At work. Out of work. Pokemon. All the things. It's such a long road. I w- I'm going to take a moment to, to bitch. <laughs> it's such a long road from the end of Gym 1 to Gym 2. It is, it is literally a long road. We did the level of it like doubled this week. It was 12 and now it's like 25. So got everybody trained. Everybody's all trained. I EV trained everyone to make this maybe a little easier because Grant sucks. But you know what? At the end of the day, we, we, got, a, we got a squad that we like. We got a little little squad here, an unexpected squad. We got Samsara. We got our starter here, who's really only here to mop, mop up. Maybe, I hope not. She's real close to, to level limit. Like she's twenty five and three quarters, which was a, a it was a bad turn of events where she had to come out and blow something up, and it was it was worth a lot of experience. Um, we got Rose the Roselia. Uh, who's great, legitimately. We got Chris, Crystal B, Crystal Bright, the Soul Rock. We got Youth Do, the Skiddo, the Skiddo. <laughs> we got London, the Hippo Toss, and we got Joy, the Psyduck. A very, uh, I feel almost unconventional squad, but uh, one that we needed for this gym because, let's be real, uh, the rest of our Pokemon can't hit rocks real well or really die badly to rocks. I know what you're doing right now. You're looking at old Anna and saying, Samsara dies terribly to rocks and you would be correct. But at least Samsara is fast. And she is a stage two Pokemon. So I am less worried about bringing our uh, our little fox friend than I would be bringing our Drifloon. <laughs> Which was one of the alternatives. Um, if you're new here, this video, this video, and all the other videos on this channel are part of a competitive Pokemon podcast project called Blastburn Radio. Um, when we do gyms, if you are unfamiliar, there is a point system that we use to score our performance. You can do an easy gym, which is all your regular super happy fun time, super effective moves. Awesome. We have no items in battle as part of our regular rule set. That's still in effect, but you can come in here and drop you know, water and grass on these rocks all the live long day. Uh, and that's a-okay. Uh, alternatively, you can do a hard mode gym, which is no super effective moves uh, for a bonus, bonus points. Uh, how many points it's worth is largely determined by your placing uh, in the current standings at the beginning of the week. We will not be doing a hard gym today, even though this gym, y'all, this gym is like worth 70 points for us right now. For real, I probably should be doing it hard, but I really, really, really need to preserve some of my good pieces that I picked up. Because I think that there is legitimately a chance in doubles PvP this week that we could pick up some points. So, without further ado, we're going to run in here, and once we're in, we're locked in. we got to beat the trainers, we got to beat Grant before we can leave. We either win or we wipe, and that's that. I stocked up... Ooh, excuse me. I stocked up on lots of healing items before we got here and new clothes. Uh, so I think we're good to go. Um, we got everybody. I didn't make a mistake. Um, what are you holding? Oh, you're holding the amulet coin. Cool, 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 cool. We got Joy. We got Joy up front. Joy is 22. I learned my lesson last time, y'all. No, no close to the level limit Pokemon, except for Samsara, who really shouldn't be out here. Um, let's hope Joy does not get overleveled or die terribly because I have underleveled her because she is key for our grant stratagem. Oh man, the gyms in this fucking generation in Gen, in Gen 6 are lit as fuck look at this nice hold on I, yeah there we go look at this nice beautiful like blue water area look at the rock wall you know i think we mentioned this on an earlier episode but like gyms don't get better than this i don't think they're really good 
Okay, first trainer. Let's do it. If you can't tell, I'm very stressed about this gym. We got out on hard mode viola last week by the skin of our teeth, quite literally. Um, ugh. Fuck y'all. Dwebble's gonna have sturdy probably. I, I cannot remember if Dwebble has another ability or if it's just sturdy. Um, and then obviously a uh, hidden ability, which I don't f have any fucking clue what it is, but I'm probably going to have to hit this twice, which I suppose I shouldn't be bitching about. It's a rock gym. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Oh, the confusion though. Hit yourself in the face. Hit yourself in the face. No, you didn't. And you used rock blast. Ow. Ow. Sweet Lord, stop hitting me. <laughs> A bulky duck, Joy is not. Okay. Um... Nope. 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 It's Rose or Youth do. Both can do quad effective damage to this thing. We'll send out Youth do. That did way more than I expected. Oh, we're still faster. Oh my god. You gotta be effing with me. Gotta be effing with me. Well, there goes a goat. <laughs> I'm so pissed. We're only pulling 30 points from this gym and now it's 10. And that was a fuck ton of experience. God damn it. We got nothing. <laughs> got nothing. I cannot believe my skiddo died to a fucking relin can. That is the most embarrassing thing. God, I didn't even check who's in front. I didn't heal, did I? I sure didn't. I was so pissed. I was so pissed. About you, too. <laughs> I'm tilted, y'all. I'm fucking tilted. This is so bad. Y'all, I have no idea. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, that I can make it out of this gym. Unscathed. In the remainder of this wonderful time 
that I'm having here. Who the fuck am I going to put in the box? Like, that was already a question, and now it, it's really a question. I gotta heal Joy before I forget. Hopefully we can make it through the next couple of things without youth do. I really need joy for the end. And Rose's poison typing is sometimes a vulnerability. Now would be one of those times. I know that Soul Rock can learn psychic moves because I have one. That was manageable. Okay. I can live with that. I should have guessed. Why else would you use a fucking soul rock? She says with a soul rock on her team. Hey, that's, that's some good RNG there for us. Okay. That's okay, I guess. That's all right. I can't even believe. I'm still, I'm still reliving the moment where my fucking Skiddo was killed by a rolling camp. It's the fucking worst. Um, let's put, let's put Rose in the front for a bit. I need, I need the duck to be viable in a couple of minutes. I'm not super concerned that it'll die, but I wasn't super concerned that you two would die terribly, and I was very clearly wrong. Um, well, that's spooky scary. I'm, but it's quad weak, and it's not especially defensive. This should be okay, right? This is okay? This is okay. If you all couldn't tell, I'm always extra shitty about losing something I just spent like an hour and a half EV training. Hey, it's a nose pass! I fucking love nose pass. Um, it's such a weird Pokemon. Oh my God. It's also got sturdy. Thunder wave, huh? Well, it's not the worst. Let's hope whatever else comes out isn't gonna bother us too much. This shouldn't. This is this is the top. Uh, 
Alright, Joy. Time to earn your keep. You know what really sucks, y'all? You know what really sucks? It's that fucking Skiddo was a part of the plan. <laughs> and now I don't have Leech Seed. So the plan was to take care of Amora with the Psyduck. And then Tyrant... Well, at least I think it's in that order. I think Tyrant's his ace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right. I'm right. I remember that. It's been a while. Um, it's take care of Amora with uh, the duck. And then switch into Rose. And paralyze it. Stun Spore it. And then switch into Skiddo and drop a Leech Seed and get some Razor Leafs off. And if that wasn't enough to fucking down it, switch into our good hippo friend. And finish it off. I've been waiting in eager anticipation. And what have I been waiting for? A worthy challenger to appear and lo and behold you have climbed all the way up. It's very impressive actually if I may so say so myself. I have a feeling our battle won't turn out <laughs> won't turn out to be worth the wait. Will turn out to be worth the wait. I hope you show me skills that surpass even mine. Oh. That's how that's gross. <laughs> that crack it made me uncomfortable just to hear it. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm right. It's been a fucking... It's been a fucking year or so since I played XY, but... I was pretty sure Tyron was his ace. Alright. Duck, I have spent an ungodly amount of time... EV training you. Water pulse this small dinosaur, please. Do it. Ow. Thunder wave. That's not mm, what you normally expect a uh, rock Pokemon to be carrying around with it. Oh god. That takedown. That takedown was ice type. That's the only reason I lived through that. It's like fucking resisted. Okay, some of the plan is still in in place. We can't. There's no way we can risk taking a hit from that fucking thing at 31. Learn my goddamn lesson. That was an absolute ass ton of damage. Please don't miss the stun spore. Thank you. Let's get some chip out on this while we can. There's a rock tomb. Good fucking lord. It does so much damn damage. Alright, London. There's a rock tomb. We're pretty bulky. I didn't do it a whole lot, but we're slow as fuck. Let's dig. This is super effective damage. Come on, just finish it. 
Thank God. Can't fucking believe. Cannot believe. <sighs> okay, let's try to be positive. There are some things that seem out of reach no matter how hard you try. However, it's important you never give up no matter the opponent or odds. I could tell from our battle that you and your Pokemon understand that. To commemorate such an impressive show of teamwork, please accept the Cliff Badge. We'll take it. In our 10 whole point game. With the Cliff Badge in your grasp, you should have no issues working together with Pokemon up to level 40. I know that number doesn't mean anything to you because in the context of the game, there are no levels. This applies to Pokemon you've received from other people in trade too. And that's not all. You get this. Thank you for giving me Rock Tomb. Thank you for giving me Rock Tomb. This is Rock Tomb. With this move, Pokemon can hurl rocks at their target, not only inflicting damage, but lowering the target's speed and preventing it from moving. Now that you've become a master wall climber and conquered this gym, it's time you thought about how to apply your skills in other areas. Think about how you can improve yourself as well as the Pokemon that are always by your side. When you find the answer, I'm sure they'll be able to smile. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I will take my badge and my TM and my dead lifeless fucking goat who was killed by a stone fish. Alright, you do. I need your fucking amulet coin, please. I cannot even fucking believe this garbage. I'm so shitty on. <laughs> I expect to lose Pokemon when I do hard mode gyms. Not when I do easy mode gyms. Admittedly, Grant is terrifying, but I didn't lose Pokemon to Grant. I lost Pokemon to a fucking trainer and a relic can. It makes for a great story and a terrible, terrible thing. So first things first, we need to take this lad and send him into the graveyard box, the island paradise in the sky. It's week two, and we have what? What is in there? Five fucking deaths. Additionally, we need to choose one of our friends to go in this box for other reasons. And here's the thing. We're going to talk about who's going in here. Because legitimately, I think... I think when I started today, getting ready to go do the gym, it probably would have been the skid out. And hear me out. And that's why this sucks even more, because now I don't even have the, the, the piece I was going to give away this week to give away. Skiddo is great, and Go Goat is great. And probably is the better choice to have long term. However. However. One, I have two other grass type Pokemon. I have Ro Roselia here and I have an Oddish. I have blue grass in the box who can only become a Bell Awesome, which is limiting for certain, but it's fine. Either way, I have, I have more grass Pokemon. I only have one water Pokemon. It's this fucking duck. And I looked up its IVs. It's a good fucking duck. I don't think I can give Joy away. I just don't think that that is a thing that I can do. I'm not getting rid of my starter. You might all be asking, but Annabeth, you have a soul rock. Isn't a soul rock something that you could reasonably ditch in this box forever to go get an egg friend from the community? 
And you're not wrong. It's a soul rock. It didn't even see use in the gym this week. It was like an in case, like shatter glass in case of emergency. But you know what the rock learns this week? Next level? Rock slide. It is a single stage evolution Pokemon who learns rock slide at level 25. And we are doing doubles PVP this week. I have a Skarmory I have to deal with this week. I have a fucking Skarmory I gotta deal with this week. You know how not great that is? That's not fantastic. At all. I'm not getting rid of London, by the way. Our Hippo is staying. Hippo is, is awesome. I think at this point, is between two Pokemon. It's between Rose. Who, again, I got another grass type in the bank. Not that I feel super good about that, since now one of them is already dead. And Crystal Bright could still reasonably go in here. Crystal Bright is the Pokemon who is likely to fall off the soonest. And this little, little gem is going to be a Roserade next week, I think. I think. I think there's access to a stone next week. I have a pretty good fire, water, grass core in these three. I know I just told you all why I wasn't getting rid of this rock. Getting rid of this rock will mean I probably will not do very well in PvP this week. But it is the least impactful, important piece for gameplay for a while. Um... Crystal Bright, do you have an item on you right now? I think you might be. Let's just make sure. I'm not giving you away with an Orin Berry. I can't believe I EV trained Crystal Bright. Oh, I gotta open a, a dice a dice rolly program. I'm gonna do that right now. And dumbly enough, I'm going to go to my D&D Beyond character sheet so I can roll something easily. I'm going to put this over here. Here we go. I'm going to roll 2d6 quickly so I know what column and row I'm picking from before we even open the box. So, column 5, row 2. Column five, row two. Okay. That was the sound effects of my dice flowing away in the ice. All right, let's look. Organize boxes. Can't believe I, I literally trained this thing right before I went in the gym. Didn't end up needing it. Okay, we did the thing, it's in retirement. Okay, what did we say? It's column five, row two. So row two, one, two, three, four, five. This one is coming in here. Let's go walk around and see what we got. This is always the most exciting part of these gym streams is seeing what hatches out of this egg because it could be something awesome it could be something terrible i'm so nervous <laughs> it's a fucking chat up I didn't see what the name was on this. Oh god, I didn't look. So trying not to be able to see what was in it. 
If I choose no, will it leave its original egg name? No. I can always go back to the name reader and give it a name if it didn't stay. Nope, it kept chat on. What does it have on it? It's got a choice scarf on it though. That's height. That is very height. It's got tangled feet. Fucking tangled feet. Very nice. Thank you to whoever submitted this. The Choice Scarf is a wonderful gift. Chatot is also a very fun Pokemon choice. I'm very amused. Um, particularly after our Who the Fuck is Jay Balfin episode. Um, awesome. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with the squad. I, f I fly too much. That is, that is my problem. Let's go look at what's in the box before I wrap up. So the scarf will give me the element of surprise on some things, but it is not as effective in a doubles week. I mean, it can be, but a lot of times you can really surprise people with scarf and singles. Organize boxes. Get out of the egg box. I don't want to see what's in here. Okay. We got Hugo. I think Hugo, you're you're back on the team in here. Carmelite. Get in here. And I gotta bring two other Pokemon for PvP. It's not gonna be Wismer. Wismer, stay over there with with bluegrass. I think. I think it's gonna be Drifloon. And Amora. I have to look at what Chatot. Chat's the, the nasty plot abuser? Summary. It isn't gonna do a ton to. Skarmory, but. Chatter might legitimately might legitimately be worth bringing. The only reason I was thinking of bringing Drifloon is the immunities it brings, and it has ominous wind. Let's look at our. Let's look at higher. It's unburdened, too. My fucking adamant. A payback. But man. I don't know. I gotta think. I gotta think on those last two slots. But thank you very much for tuning in to what was a very surprising gym. <laughs> I'm never gonna get. I'm never gonna live this down. The Realm Camp of Doom. Um. Thank you for whoever submitted the chat dot and the choice scarf. That's fantastic. I will do my best to put them to good use this week, and we're gonna look forward to week three. Like, it's been a real rough week. We had so many deaths this week. We had four deaths this week. Vivian, Litleo, Bulbasaur, and fucking Skiddo. That sucks. What a rough fucking week. Hey, y'all. It's Anna from Biosport Radio. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on our journey through 
the Kalos region. If you want to make sure to keep up to date on all the gameplay for Blast Run Radio Season 8, you can do so here on YouTube and only on YouTube this season. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Maybe give us a like if you enjoyed the video. And additionally, if you want to make sure you don't miss a single video, you got to hit that bell. It's the way YouTube works. I don't make the rules. From all of us here at Blast Run Radio, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for loving our show. And we will see you next time. Bye.